Hey folks, welcome to another Triple T Thursday. For those just joining us, that's Tools, Tips, and Talk, where we'll discuss info for the knife maker. In today's episode, a misting system for your grinder. So I've had this idea um, for a while um, to put in a misting system. And the reason you want one of these is so you don't have to continually dip your steel into the into the bucket to cool it down after grinding, especially after heat treat. You want to keep the steel cool. So I watched some videos. Brian from uh, Houseworks did one a while ago based on a sharpening system. Um, and Brian uh, Cone from B Cone Nice, if you haven't seen his channel, go check it out. Give him some love, both of them. Um, but Brian did a video on this one. So I actually got the links from Brian. So thanks, Brian. Um, so I'm going to install one on my grinder today and bring you guys along. Let's take a look. Okay folks, let's talk about what you're going to need to install a water misting system onto your grinder. So first of all, of course, is the actual mister itself. Um, I got this one I think for 19 bucks. Um, it's a really good one. It's the one that, um, that I was told about. Um, so with this one, it's got pressure fittings, which is great. It came with this hose. So I just had to buy the 5 16 outer diameter, which will just pressure fit into this. Uh, another air regulator, okay, just to be able to adjust the air. And I'm using, of course you're gonna need an air compressor. I've got this pancake one and I've got these quick disconnects. So in order to plug the regulator into this, I've got one of these guys that will screw onto here. And then some hose fittings for these, uh, for this side of the hose into there. All right, let's assemble. I'm gonna use a little Teflon tape here just cause I'm mating these two services. I'm sure this is not strictly necessary. that Okay, I probably could have gone with a, a smaller nipple here. It was really hard to get this hose on because the inner diameter is only uh, um, 3 16 But uh, I think I got it on there and clamped. So now I'll get this on here. Okay, now this just presses in here. We'll put the other end in. Alright, so I'm all connected. I can connect this to the compressor. Um, I've got this bottle that I'm just going to drill a hole in it and that's going to be my reservoir. Yeah, I'm going to use tonic water. I think that's going to work better. Just kidding folks. Regular water is just fine. Um, so, let's. I'll drill that. We'll connect this up and test it out. One thing I just discovered, folks, um, this is the one I just bought. Uh, this is the one that fits into my um, quick disconnect. You'll notice the tips are different. I thought these things were universal, so be careful when you buy them that you get one that fits into your quick disconnect on your compressor. Um, I stole this one from another piece, so I'll just have to replace it as well. So I'm ready to test this out. Um, looking back, I, from my setup, I probably didn't need the extra regulator because mine's got a regulator built in, but just to be safe, I got an extra one that disconnects and this whole thing just disconnects easily. So I've pre-pressurized this so you don't have to hear how loud it is. Um, I think I have it all set up. So it should just work as soon as I open this. Let's see.
Okay, I feel air. Let's see if we can get the water. There it goes. Nice. That's nice. I can adjust the water and the air separately here. All right, I'm ready to give it a try. I've also noticed these things have little locking rings, which is really cool. You can just turn it off at the rag. So let's give it a shot. Oh, I've got to turn off the rag. That works really well. And the water just drains into my water bucket, which is great. Maybe I don't have to refill that as much. I'm really happy with this. So I'm happy with that attachment. Uh, it works really well. And that thing was under 50 bucks. Uh, 20 bucks for the, um, for the actual mister. And I think I paid $17 for the regulator, which I, again, I probably didn't need because my, my compressor had a regulator on it. And then the fittings. So really, really cheap attachment and very cool. So if you don't have one, go check it out. Links in the description, just like always for all the tools that I use. Also my um, Instagram and my Etsy shop all linked down in the description, so go check them out. Thanks guys, we'll see you on the next one.